Hi darlings, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for a new What's New My Wardrobe video. It feels like quite a long time since I stood up and filmed in my boudoir because a lot of my recent videos have been vlogs, I've been travelling a little bit, um, so welcome back to my usual setup and now feels like a really good time to say thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. It is blowing my mind how many people are subscribed to this channel now, it is just a number that I never ever ever in my wildest dreams thought would be next to my little subscribe button so thank you so much to every single person, it really does mean the world to me. I would still be doing this as my job if there were 10,000 of you but 300,000 is just a figure that blows my mind and we're already on like 302,000, it's still growing so thank you so much for sticking around and for subscribing, it really does mean the world to me. Um, so today's video is going to be a what's new in my wardrobe, if you are one of my new subscribers then just to let you know at the very beginning of every month, or I think we're kind of second week of August now, I got a little bit delayed doing this one. At the beginning of every month I like to share with you what is new in my wardrobe. These are things that maybe are as a result of hauls, going shopping, working with brands, and the pieces that I've decided to keep. Obviously with what I do, I have to send quite a lot of things back from hauls, I'm very selective with what I actually keep, and if I work with brands sometimes I send things to friends and family or to a charity shop, and it really is the creme de la creme of the pieces that I keep. So this video is kind of like an edit. Everything that you've seen me unboxing throughout the past month, this is an edit of the pieces that are staying in my wardrobe. So, without further ado, uh, let's get started with what I am wearing. This month, if you watched a video, I think it was called Unboxing Netta Porter, Louisa Vieroma um, and Blogger Mail, I mentioned that I've been shopping a little bit more on Netta Porter lately and I know some of you might be like, oh my god, expensive, but I've found that there are a few brands there which aren't ridiculously expensive, there are a few which are kind of more premium high street level, so if, like me, you really love to shop in stores like Ted Baker, Reese, Karen Millen, and you're really happy with that premium high street price point, then actually, Netta Porter does have some really good options, so for example brands like Ghani, Love Shack Fancy, a few things from Zimmerman, um, Mother Denim, they are all not too crazy designer price tags. So this dress that I'm wearing now is, I think this is actually a Zimmerman, yes this is Zimmerman, I'll try and find the exact one and leave it linked down below. Zimmerman is one of those brands where the prices can be actually bonkers, like they can be a thousand pound, eight hundred pound for a dress, or they can be a couple hundred pounds, and you can never really tell what price they're going to be, it's not like if they have loads of detail then they're going to be a thousand, or if they're really simple they're going to be a couple hundred, because this, when I saw it on the website I was fully expecting it to be an eight hundred pound dress, because it's got so much beautiful detail, it's got some lovely embroidery, lace, it's got lovely layers of fabric, and it's just so so gorgeous. So I was quite pleasantly surprised with the price tag of this one, and I absolutely loved wearing this in Ibiza, and it's going to be one of those dresses that I just love wearing on so many upcoming summer holidays. It's also really comfortable because it's elasticated, and lengthwise it ruffles down just above my knees, so quite an elegant length as well. So this was the first thing that I picked up from Netta Porter. If you watched my Barcelona and my Ibiza vlogs, you will also have seen me wearing this. This actually needs steaming, I just got it off the dryer. This is from Love Shack Fancy, and that is a brand that has really been a new discovery for me this month, also from Netta Porter. This is Silk Georgette, so very delicate material, but a beautiful floral pattern. Again, it's got a lovely ruffled skirt, elasticated waistband, and because of the elasticity in this, it makes for a really great cover-up over a swimsuit if you're going to be on a really nice beach club, um, off the shoulder, but then you can also wear it pulled up onto your shoulders. Again, a really lovely, beautiful piece for wearing on the beach, and if you've got any hot trips coming up, if you've got any late summer holidays, then this is just absolutely gorgeous. The other things that I got from that particular Netta Porter haul include this gorgeous top from Ghani, and this is just the most beautiful fit. It's got this shirred smocking detail at the top here, which means it fits around the chest area really nicely. I love the thick straps, and I love the slight peplum at the bottom. I personally love to wear this with high-waisted denim shorts, and I actually bought, also from Netta Porter, the same shopping um, episode, I got these shorts from Mother Denim. These are, I mean to be honest, you could probably 
cut up a pair of new look jeans with really nice elasticity in them and get the same effect but um, I really like the length of these they are not too crotchy or too bummy they're high-waisted and because of the elasticity content they are very very comfortable this as a combination together is just a really lovely outfit on warm days I wore this on our first day in Barcelona exploring and I thought it was a perfect outfit this I think was just over hundred pounds so it is very expensive for a top but it's really lovely and I've not seen anything like this on the high street so very happy with that purchase and this is the first thing I've ever tried from this Gani brand so it's going to be one that I keep a closer eye on in future. During our trip to Barcelona I wore that outfit with these trainers quite a lot. These are new and I got these from Luisa Via Roma. I'd never seen this style of trainers before for girls but Charlie actually has the boy version of these and he raves about them. He's always saying that I need to get a pair but I'd never seen them in any colour other than black or grey or navy so when I saw these on Louisa Via Roma I instantly added them to my basket checked with Charlie that they were cool and he said that they were so I grabbed them they are from Adidas I believe, yep Adidas they are white kind of sock material with this neon pink bit at the top so they're really easy to pull on um, very very comfortable they have a lot of padding in the sole so they're very good for running I wear them in the gym for my personal training sessions and because they are pretty stylish, apparently they're some kind of cool limited edition, but I don't know trainers, so if they're cool or not, I don't really know, but I think they're comfy, they look great, and they work really nicely as fashion trainers as well as functional trainers. As I mentioned, I wore them with my white shorts and Garni top in Barcelona, and I really liked how they looked, so I thought I would mention these. Sticking with accessories for a little bit, this piece has actually been in my wardrobe for over a month. I could have mentioned it in last month's What's New in My Wardrobe, but at that time, I actually wasn't planning on keeping this. I was planning on sending it back because I bought it in the sale and then I found my Prada bag and I thought I can't possibly keep both. So I planned to return this. However, when I went to do so, I realised that, I think it was Farfetch, had a 14-day return policy and because I'd been to Thailand, I'd missed my deadline. So I couldn't actually return it. But since then, I have grown to love it and I've worn it with quite a few things in my wardrobe. So this JW Anderson Pierce bag is now officially part of my collection. And to be honest, it looks really cute with this outfit, so maybe this will be a lovely combination. It's quite thin, so you can't put too much in it. Even when I have my vlogging camera in there, it bulks it out quite a lot. But on those days when I'm not really carrying too much with me, it is a really beautiful accessory. And this style of bag has been fashionable now for a couple of years, so I definitely think it has made it to classic status. Speaking of bags, another bag that I got this month and that I've been using so much is this beautiful one from Artisan Anything. This is, as you can probably tell, a dupe of the Chloe Fay Day bag and I'd been thinking about getting a Chloe Fay Day for a long time but then when I got this I was like I don't need to anymore because this does the job absolutely perfectly because of the size of this and it is a lot wider than the JW Anderson bag it fits all my essentials in the colour and the style, because it's kind of casual but also designer inspired, giving it a luxe effect, it goes with everything. Again, this outfit that I'm wearing now, jeans and a t-shirt, shorts and a camisole, it goes with so many different things. So big fan of this, beautiful quality leather, gorgeous classic colour, very well made and I absolutely love it. Something that I'd seen all over Instagram and that I've been thinking about getting for quite a long time is a pair of castagna wedges and I really wanted to find a dupe of these in Spain. I thought surely in the Spanish markets there's going to be something that looks identical but is a fraction of the price but I actually didn't find anything so I decided to keep these gorgeous wedges. I got them from Netta Porter and the brand is Castagna very comfortable wedges are just a great way of adding a height boost but still being very comfortable very easy to walk in and especially as these have got straps that go up the leg it just means that you're very secure not going to be wobbling over i got the ones with the pink uh, toe cap because that goes with most of my wardrobe i think the cream ones could have been a really good choice as well and then they have a rubberized sole which just again makes them very very easy to walk in and these go with so many things they are surprisingly versatile so you'll probably be seeing these in a lot of my upcoming instagrams and vlogs etc so going from summer accessories briefly into some autumn comfort pieces i have a couple of pieces which i was very kindly gifted from ted baker so ted have their ted says relax collection and this little combination is something that i'm very excited for autumn to come so that i can wear it firstly there is this padded jacket in this burgundy colour. This um, 
this is like a velvet material, so so cosy and soft and this is going to be fabulous when the temperatures drop and you just want something really snugly to put around your shoulders but still look nice and smart so can't wait to wear that one. And then we also have from the Ted Says Relax collection this pair of grey satiny joggers. As you may know I work from home so things which are smart but stylish that I can lounge around the house in are an absolute godsend so I'll be getting so much wear out of these when this heat wave finally finishes. We did have a couple of cooler days this weekend but it's back to being sunny and warm now which I'm definitely not complaining about but it does mean I have to wait a little bit longer before I can wear things like this. Because of the heat wave I have been looking for really lovely lightweight casual things that I can wear around the house. One of which is, I'm not going to be able to show this to you in a very flattering way so I'll insert a picture of me wearing this jumpsuit on the screen here. It is this white and yellow jumpsuit from Topshop with a lovely little tie detail in the chest area. Super lightweight, just breathable cotton fabric. It doesn't cover too much skin so it's really really comfortable and airy to wear and I've been wearing this so so often whether it's to work from home or to just nip out to the shops, nip to Sainsbury's or anything like that. I've got a lot of use out of this and I think it was under £30 from Topshop, so I've been wearing this a lot over the past few weeks. And then since my last What's New My Wardrobe, I have of course done the Fashion Mumbler Summer Edit, which featured quite a few hauls, one of which was my Revolve haul. I'm not going to go through all of the Revolve pieces in that because everything in that haul, aside from the baggy trousers at the end, I kept, so I'll leave the Revolve haul link down below. Um, but a few of my favourite pieces from Revolve that I've worn so much this month, firstly is this little dress. This has got a shoulder ruffly strap and then also an off the shoulder strap. Very short length for me, it's very... Um, short and I prefer things a little bit longer but for summer holidays this has been absolutely perfect. Love the material, again this needs steaming, it's just come straight out of the wash but it's just such a gorgeous colour, very fun and flirty and I've loved wearing this on our various trips and here in the UK as well. Then of course this amazing, I never know what to call it, it's kind of like a play suit jumpsuit dress, it's got the little shorts inside and then this long floaty almost cape like maxi fabric stretch at the back. Midi three quarter length sleeves and a low plunging v-neck. I have absolutely loved wearing this. It's very colourful for me, a little bit more bold than my usual blush and white colour palette but for that reason I've absolutely adored wearing this. Really lovely lightweight material so when I've had a day of meetings I want to be a little bit more covered but still really breezy on warm days I have been wearing this. Um, I've been having to wear slightly plainer accessories because it is so bold and I have also had to have, I've even still got it in there now, a safety pin just to pinch this in because it is very plunging and I don't like to be too plunging but yeah I've absolutely adored wearing this and it's also got this little um, waistband so you can really cinch it in and create a very feminine silhouette but this has been a real favourite this month. I've somehow got three things on one hanger here but the piece that I'm trying, oh my gosh, to show you <laughs> is my lace uh, jumpsuit from Revolve. This was the thing that started off the entire order. I have had this on my wish list for quite a long time since seeing a blogger wearing it at the Reward Star Conference back in March. It's basically a lacy broidery play suit, the most me thing I could possibly imagine. I did have to sew it up in the middle because again, very plunging. Revolve is a very um, risque retailer when it comes to necklines and hemlines. So I did have to sew it up a little bit to make it a bit more demure. It does have this really thick broidery belt which ties in around the waist. Again, I will insert a picture of me wearing it on the screen now so you can get a better idea, but it's just such a classic piece and something that I feel so wonderful when I wear. And then the last thing I want to flag from my Revolve haul is this bikini swimwear cover-up. This is from Lovers and Friends, as was the previous play suit, and this is just the most practical piece when you are spending a day by the pool, by the beach, and you want something to just put on when you want to create a little bit more modesty. Maybe you're having a lunch, or you are... I don't know, you just don't want to be totally half naked in your bikini. This has been absolutely perfect for that. I took this to Ibiza with me. Um, I've been wearing this when I go to pools here in the UK, such as the one at Soho House in White City. I don't want to be prancing around just in my swimwear when I'm not actually swimming or sunbathing. So this has been a really, really handy cover-up. Again, I will put a picture 
on the screen now of me wearing this and this picture is part of a blog post which is a big swimwear roundup with pictures taken from Ibiza so I'll leave that blog post link down below but yeah very very practical piece that I've worn a lot this month. So that leads me on very nicely to my swimwear. I have a couple of new pieces in my swimwear collection this month. This first bikini was actually very kindly gifted to me from Heidi Klein. It is this beautiful pink top with little pom-pom detail there. It's quite structured. My boobs are actually a little bit too small for this so it does have a little bit of room but you can't really tell. Bando style is so great if you are tanning you're not going to get any strap lines and then the same um, thick pink material for the bottoms so I absolutely love the colour of this felt very beach barbie when I was wearing it but I just adored it loved how it looked in pictures as well as you will have seen in the snaps with the cover up I have a couple more bikinis here which actually I haven't worn on any holidays yet because I got them after coming home from Ibiza but I do still have hopefully another trip to Ibiza and a trip to um, Catalonia at the end of summer next month so I'll be wearing them there. This one is I think from Faithful, yes Faithful the brand. It is a smocked detail top and I absolutely love smocked bikinis, you may remember my Tory Burch one, very very similar. And this is the matching bottoms, what I love about these is that they're not too big so they have a fairly small bum um, so you're not going to feel like you're wearing giant knickers when you're on the beach and again similar kind of smocking detail. And a second swimsuit from Faithful, they are loving yellow at the moment and I can't say I have any yellow somewhere so this is going to be a really nice um, summary addition to my swimwear collection. This is the top, it's just kind of a strappy top with adjustable straps and once again a very small bikini bottom. These, I've got both of these bikinis from Netta Porter actually. These are going to be quite um, wedgie-ish but after Love Island I think everybody is okay with having slightly smaller bikini bottoms so I think these will be really really flattering. I've been doing plenty of squats in the gym so hopefully they will look good. I'll have a good booty on the beach but very much looking forward to wearing these in Catalonia. Although it is a holiday with Charlie's parents so hopefully they're not too thongy. <laughs> we shall see. And by the way yes I do have a bit of a cold at the moment from the aircon so apologies about my uh, nasal voice. <laughs> One more beach piece and this was so affordable and I absolutely love it. I would have paid triple the price for this but I'm very glad I didn't have to. This is a striped Mizzoni style beach cover up. This was from Pretty Little Thing. I think this was £18. I think maybe it was a little bit more but anyway I absolutely adore this it's got the different um, chevron stripes on it it looks super expensive really easy to fling on over your swimming costume or bikini I wore this over my bikini with my little um, white denim shorts I showed you earlier wore that loads in Barcelona and thought it was fabulous. And my final beachy piece is this new swimsuit from Fig Leaves. Fig Leaves always have the most flattering pieces. This one is a bardo style swimming costume with little tie detail. It's got slightly padded cups so it gives you a really beautiful um, kind of like shaping around the chest. I just feel like when I want to be super body confident this is what I've been reaching for. I took this to Barcelona, Ibiza, even more this in the UK down in Dorset. I've been getting a lot of use out of this. I actually worked with Fig Leaves on an Instagram post earlier in the month and as part of that you can still use my discount so it's Josie15 and that gives you 15% off anything on Fig Leaves throughout the month of August so I'll leave a link to this down below and they also have some really cute pyjamas and cover-ups so keep an eye on um, their website. Another very pretty summer dress. This is a piece that I got from Nasty Gal. You may have seen me unboxing this. This again was very affordable and has been something that I've worn a lot during warm days here in the UK. It's very versatile. It can be dressed up or down with the castagna wedges or some flat sandals and I think this was around £40. It washes really easily as well. I got this absolutely filthy after carrying wet muddy dogs from the beach in Dorset and it's absolutely good as new again. Did I mention it has pockets? Because I absolutely love that fact. Ruffles on the sleeves, um, just a really simple summer day dress that looks absolutely gorgeous. Really nice with a basket bag as well. This little crop top which I have worn with my white Reese trousers which I showed you in my last What's New in My Wardrobe. Um, some orange shoes which I'll show you in a second and an orange round bag from Topshop. That's been a real favourite outfit this month. And then also the dress if I flick this round. They're both Tula Rosa from Revolve. This is so flattering. It's a little bit more dressy, um, so if you've got any kind of like summer parties, because it's quite short, but 
also quite thick fabric it's a bit of a weird one but I think it looks so so beautiful and I love the tassels love the way that it fits so that has been another favorite from Revolve the aforementioned orange shoes these are from Topshop they are so fun with the gold sphere on the heel I love mules as you guys know and these are just a really interesting bright addition with the white trousers they look fabulous with midi dresses with white shorts they look brilliant and it's just a nice way of adding a pop of color into my wardrobe and I'm 99% sure I'm probably missing something but I think this is the last piece this I've probably saved the best till last this is a gorgeous new dress that I got from Luisa Viaroma it is a self-portrait dress and I <laughs> absolutely love it this fits so so beautifully the material is absolutely gorgeous it's very fitted around the bodice and then flares out and it finishes just below the knees so a very elegant length if you have got a prom or a ball or you want to really beautifully dress up for a summer wedding or a christening this is absolutely perfect little thin spaghetti straps um, I'm just going to show it to you a little bit more close up so you can see the gorgeous detail it does even have it does even have pockets which is amazing I wore this for a shoot that I did at a beautiful National Trust property recently I'll insert a picture or a video clip on the screen now but I love it um, so this is going to be my special occasion dress for the next few special occasions and I'll probably bring it out year after year and just rotate the um, events that I wear this to so prepare to see this a lot as well. So this is the last piece I hope you enjoyed looking through the new pieces in my wardrobe I'd love to know what is the favorite piece that you have added to your wardrobe this month let me know down below as always everything will be linked in the description box um, and keep an eye on my Instagram and my vlogs if you'd like to see these pieces in action. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.